Alright, it's been a while since I made a video, so please forgive me. So today we're talking about the early year 2020 collaboration of Essex and Kiko Kosadinov, Gel Kiro. Now at first glance, this shoe may look hideous. It may look like bricks of Legos with just two very saturated combination of colors that just stacks up together like Legos. But I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like it. But first let's talk about who is Kiko. Kiko, whose full name is Kiko Kosadinov, was a Bulgarian fashion designer who's based in London, where he mostly spent his teenage life being exposed to the fashion industry. Being one of the graduates in one of the most prestigious universities of our Central State Martins, he then pursued his craft which has won him numerous design competitions and has collaborated with numerous brands including Stussy as well as, you guessed it, Essex. But on the other hand, Essex and Kiko have this special relationship where they would just keep coming back with new collabs, including the most recent one, the Gel Kayano 14, which looks very delicious. But we're not talking about that. Today we're focusing more on the Spring Summer 2020 collection, specifically the Gel Kiro. Now this shoe is heavily influenced from a very well-known sport in America called the Kentucky Derby which is essentially a horse race, which is held annually in Kentucky. You'd be surprised with the sheer number of people who would turn up for this particular event. Spoiler alerts, there's just that many. Being that the collection is inspired by the clothing that the jockeys were wearing, Kiko had brought yet another banger to the fashion game. Now, it's important to note that this particular series of Asics was Kiko's very first original silhouette, which means that this shoe was entirely his own creation from top to bottom. Of course, with the help of Asics themselves. But what's so special about it? Now, to me, one of the most noticeable factors about this shoe is the lattice overlay design, where the blue diamond pattern is finished with a glossy painted leather, semi covers the yellow mesh base. The front tip of the shoe has this special rubber toe bumper where it seamlessly connects to the rubber outsole of the shoe. Fun fact, if you actually look closely, you could see a floral pattern, which personally I think it adds a really nice touch to the shoe. The left side of the shoe has Kiko's name imprinted on the insole, while on the right side of the shoe has the classic Essex label that has been imprinted on the insole as well. If you ever owned a pair of Essex before, you know that the iconic Essex logo will always be on the side panel of the shoe. But in this case, the logo appears on the heel of the shoe instead of on the side, where it's also made out of the same rubber material of the toe bumper. And an additional bonus, you got that pre-floor pattern, which I'm all in for. Now, talking about the missile, this is where it's at. ASIC had implemented flight form technology into this year's collaboration, where the foam in the shoe helps to create a lighter formula by 50% than most industrial standards, which in simple terms gives a lighter weight on your feet as well as having more resilience in return for better performance. And to top it all off, Essex even combined it with the gel cushioning, which in simple terms again, it helps to reduce the impact on your foot and has a bare shock absorption, so you wouldn't be stressing out your foot and muscles in your mid-30s. Now, if you ask me, I really like this shoe, like, a lot. Maybe because I'm an ASIC fanboy, but I can assure you that's not the reason why I pulled the trigger. When I first saw this shoe, I wasn't really too keen in with the design, and I literally thought that this shoe just looks straight up ugly. But I'll be honest, the design just kind of grows on you. Where it was once a shoe that I had zero interest in, then becoming one of my favorite shoes of all time, that's honestly thanks to the social media platform because I more or less got inspired by those people. The people who have the eyes for shoes that are uniquely designed, where they're able to give chances by not judging the shoe at first hand, but to actually understand why a certain shoe is designed the way that it is. As well as seeing how they would style them is truly inspiring. It's kind of funny because when I read the story and the inspiration behind the shoe of Kiko's work, it makes me appreciate the shoe even more, to the point where I would much rather treasure the shoe than actually wearing it. But obviously, I'm not going to do that. 